My name is Stefano Crippa. I am an attending surgeon at the Division of Pancreatic Surgery of the San Raffaele Scientific Institute. I will comment on our article entitled Low Progression of IPMNs with Worrisome Features and High Risk Stigmata Undergoing Non-Operative Management and Mid-Term Follow-Up Analysis published in the March issue of GAT on behalf of all the authors. IPMNs were recognized as a rare pancreatic tumor only in 1982. However, in the last 15 years, they became a clinically relevant entity, and their diagnosis increased significantly, especially among elderly people. As a consequence, guidelines were published to help clinicians with their management. The 2012 updated version of the guidelines introduced two categories of risk factors for malignancy, namely worrisome features and high-risk stigmata. High-risk stigmata include jaundice, enhancing solid component, main pancreatic duct more than 10 mm in size, and high-grade dysplasia or carcinoma at cytology. The presence of high-risk stigmata warrants surgical resection in all surgically fit patients. What is on features include the presence of pancreatitis, cyst size more than 3 cm, atypical cells at cytology, main duct between 5 and 9 mm, non-enhancing mural nodules, and the required further diagnostic workup with endoscopic ultrasound. Depending on the results, Patients can undergo surgery or non-operative management with different follow-up modality and timing. There is very little information regarding the long-term outcomes of patients with worrisome features or high-risk stigmata undergoing surveillance. This subgroup of patients is of particular interest since they can give insights on the natural history of IPMNs and on the real risk of IPMN-related mortality. The aim of this study is to evaluate overall and disease-specific survival of patients with main duct, mixed, and branch duct IPMNs with worrisome features or high-risk stigmata who did not undergo immediate surgery. This is a multicenter retrospective study. We included patients with clinical radiological or cytohistological diagnosis of a different type of IPMNs. Workup included MRI, MRCP, MDCT, and EUS. Comorbidities were evaluated with ACE 20, 27 scores. We specifically evaluated the presence of high risk stigmata and worrisome features. We included 281 patients with IPMNs with worrisome features or high-risk stigmata, 18% had high-risk stigmata, and 82% had worrisome features. Median follow-up for the entire cohort of patients was 50 months. The majority of patients with worrisome features had branch duct IPMNs, and in more than 90% of cases, Worrisome features were represented by a cyst size more than 30 mm. Only 35% of patients had an NFNA and therefore a certain diagnosis of IPMN. The five year overall survival for the entire cohort was 81%. And multivariate analysis identified age. ACE27, the presence of atypical cytology, the presence of malignant cytology, and the presence of jaundice and independent predictors of overall survival. The five-year disease-specific survival for the entire cohort of 281 patients was 89.9%. Independent predictors of disease-specific survival were again age, the presence of atypical or malignant cytology, the presence of jaundice, and the main pancreatic duct more than 15 mm in size. 
Five-year disease-specific survival in patients with worrisome feature was 96% compared with 60% of those with high-risk stigmata, and the difference was statistically significant. Multivariate analysis identified age, malignant cytology, jaundice, and main pancreatic duct more than 15 mm and independent predictors of survival in patients with high risk stigmata. While only age and ACE 2027 score were found as independent predictors of disease specific survival for patients with worrisome features. Cyst size more than 30 mm more than 50 mm and an increase of cyst size during follow-up did not affect both overall and disease-specific survival. And of note, we found a five-year disease-specific survival of 97% in 159 patients with branch duct IPMNs with worrisome features. In conclusions, we report here a five-year overall survival of 80% in IPMNs with a surgical indication under surveillance. We found that the mortality in patients with worrisome features is related only to age or to comorbidities. The risk of mortality is tenfold greater for high-risk stigmata compared to worrisome features. Therefore, we recommend surgery for all patients with high-risk stigmata while considering the indolent clinical course for IPMNs with worrisome feature, a non-operative management can be considered. I thank all my co-authors from MGH and Brigham and Women Hospital in Boston, Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Beaujon Hospital in Paris, and from the University of Verona. And I thank you for the attention.